a home with Power BI, I'm Zahir Brim from Sigma BI. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to use a custom visual, uh, which will be the stock market visual is what I'm calling it. So have you seen those films in the stock uh, where they show you the stock markets and then there's they have the prices go across on a banner? If you know what I'm talking about, do you know what I'm talking about? No, yes, no, well, I've seen those on a... Um, few videos and I thought you know what I want to put that in one of my reports so I thought I'd give it a try but at the same time I thought whilst I'm trying it I'll record it for you guys to so have a look and if it's something that you like you can put it in your uh, reports and dashboards too so this is me giving this custom visual uh, a try come and have a look let's go in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, use the custom visual the stock market visual is what I'm calling it um, once I discovered that this was available, I thought there was so much or so many ways uh, we could use this. I thought I had to, I had to make a, a video and show you guys. Okay, so first of all um, is uh, what we need to do is connect to some, some data. So I was going to connect to some, um, so uh, just a, a general report, financial report and show you on there. But what I want to do is, is do it the stock market way. So I want to show you how it how we can do it in the uh, normal stock market uh, data and then possibly show you how we can incorporate into our everyday reports okay so what we're first of all going to do is is connect to the data so uh, i'm just going to go to the uh, website here uh, which is the markets one we're going to see here the information uh, that we need so i'm just going to copy paste that and then get the data from the web there. Okay. <clears throat> so there will be uh, uh, there will be a need for uh, cleaning and sorting the data out. Uh, I'm not going to show you all that in this video, uh, but I'll just quickly show you uh, what it looks like when you when you get that into the Power Query. So let that load up. Let it connect to it. So it should come up with a few tables and you just need to select the, the correct one. So let's have a look at the previews. Okay, is it that one? Okay, that might be the ones. Let me just quickly look at the others. Okay, yeah. So we're going to go with table one and I'm going to go transform that data. So... Okay, so what I need to do here is um, I need to extract some of that information. So can you see today's change? What I'm going to need to do is split that column um, into two because they've got the point difference and they've got the percentage difference as well. So what I need to do is split that up, uh, put the correct um, percentages in one and the points difference in the other. So let me do that and then I'll upload it to the Power BI desktop. Let's give us a moment. So I've sorted that out. What I need, what we now need to do is get the custom visual. So uh, if you go to the visualization pane, um, select the ellipsis and get more visuals. And that should take it to the, the marketplace where the custom visuals are. And then in the search bar, we're going to go for scroller. Just type in scroller. Press search. And that should bring it up. Okay, let's add that. And that should come down. That should be imported. So what that brings us up is an icon um, in the visualization pane under underneath the other um, visualization. Uh, so what we need to do is just select on that. Bring that into the report. Okay, so we've got three options here. So the category is where we're going to put the name. Um, the measure absolute is basically the uh, the points that we want to show um, that is currently and the deviation as well. So basically the deviation of how, how many points has it gained or has it dropped. Okay, so the first of all we're going to do is the name that should go straight in. Okay, and then the latest points I'm going to put in there. Okay, so that now should give us what the points are currently for In the stock market for those 
for the DAO and Hang Seng. So then I'm going to do, right, okay, I want to see what the, the deviation is, which is the points change. So I'm going to click on the points change, and that should show us. Look at that. That just showing us now that the Dow Jones 27686.91, and it's down 104.53 points. <laughs> you, we could do that in a report, which I think is amazing. Um, just being able to do this uh, for the stock markets, we can do this in everyday uh, reporting. For example, um, if you want to show the top sales guys or if you want to show everybody in your sales where they are, you can put this in your report and their names will go past with um, the, the, the number of sales that they're on at the moment, which I think is is great. Um, just another another thing about this um, uh, 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 well, it's visualization as well. Uh, there's not too much that you can do in terms of... Um, formatting it uh, and changing it uh, but what i would use um, is the auto so i'm just going to go on to scroll the auto size form okay so if you click the auto size form that will just um, rearrange itself to the size of uh, the visualization so for example if you want to do that then it will automatically do that if you want to do it bigger it will do that as well okay so it's worth just having a look at that but yeah so that's how we can bring the stock market scroller um visualization into power bi power bi and use it um not only for the stock markets but for our um for our own reporting for sales and that kind of thing i hope this has helped um if you have got any questions please um Comment below and like the the video and get in contact as well under the about section. I look forward to hearing you. Enjoy the video. Thanks for watching, guys. At home with Power BI with me, Zahir Raymond. Learn with us by subscribing to our channel to get updated on our latest videos.